everyone. I am here for you today with a haul. Ah, I think I'm thirsty. Yep, I was. Anyways, my mom and my stepdad were here this last weekend, and of course, that means I did some shopping. I am proud to say that most of this, everything except like one item, I got to buy with gift cards from Christmas that you would have seen in my Christmas haul. Oh, that's a lie. So, uh, there's a few items that I bought with my own money, but they were all the cheap things. <laughs> so, that's what matters, right? People, mostly my mom, I think you know this, but uh, I didn't go crazy. <laughs> I hope that we can all just ignore and hopefully enjoy Galileo over here. The Forever 21 stuff that I got was obviously in a parcel package thing, and to Galileo, that's just a wonderland of treasure. So, I guess let's have some fun. Let's dive in. Let's see what I got. Ready for a haul? Me too. Look at him. Look at the cutie pie. All right, anyways, I guess I'll just start with the things that are closest to me. And the first thing happens to be Bath and Body Works. Do you hate me? Probably. I'm sorry that I fall into the category of typical beauty guru. I'm not a guru. No one has called me a guru. I'm a beauty enthusiast. So I've fallen into the trap of Bath and Body Works, especially when they have their annual sale where they try and get rid of their holiday stuff. So the things that I picked up totaled $13, which is fantastic if you ask me. And for me, I like burning candles because I have a stinky animal, aka I have a cat that uses a litter box. I know you really think that your shit don't stink. Roses really smell like poo poo poo. I know, you're angry. Just call it like it is. So the first two candles that I got were two of the little mini one wick candles. These were two dollars a piece. A uh, pretty good deal if you ask me. Jesus, <laughs> that was like a torpedo. He loves plastic bags. I don't... Die. I promise he can breathe. There's holes in the bags. I'm not a bad mom. No fair Abraham up in her. Anyways, the first one that I picked up is this little one in autumn. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I had featured this in my sweater weather tag, right? That's what it was called. And I loved it so much much. I loved having this right next to my door when I walked into my apartment and it just made it smell so nice and welcoming. A crisp fall fragrance that blends dark pomegranate and red delicious apple with notes of fir balsam and rich cedar wood. I definitely pick up on the apple. It just smells like an apple house. Like, you know, little, maybe you don't. It smells like an apple house, take my word for it, and it smells delicious and I love it. So I picked up that one. I also got one that I've never tried before but I feel like it's talked about all the time and it is the leaves candle. Celebrate the brilliant colors of autumn with this rich blend of golden nectar, red apple, and spiced berries. I like apple scents. I think it has to do a lot with me having worked at an apple place. Yeah, all the spiced berries. That's what I pick up on most with this. Spiced berries and honey, basically. It's just so warm and inviting and this deserves the hype. Well, hello, little boy. I'm sad that they only had the one wicks in these, but I mean, I'm glad I could at least get these. And like I said, for only $2, bravo. I was also able to pick up a three wick candle of theirs on sale for only $9. That's incredible. And I got the Cider Lane candle and I had not smelt this one before, but oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, uh, it just smells like a caramel apple. R that's, yeah, a caramel apple. That's, that's just delightful. <laughs> as sweet as the trip to the local apple orchard each year, a delicious fall blend of mulled cider with warm caramel and sweet cinnamon. Hey, I kind of know what I'm talking about. Oh, it just smells so good. So I'm really excited to have this one as well. I am such a sucker for apple scents. And like I said, for $9, these things last me forever. Like I'm talking a couple months. I mean, seriously, to walk out of a Bath and Body Works with three candles and I've only spent $13 and some change, ugh, party. Oh yeah, chew that plastic. Okay, so I guess next up, the next closest thing, I've got some stuff from H&M. I had a, a coupon that I wanted to use, a really good coupon, and there were sales, and I just, I 
I was very excited. First thing that I got was just this little knit navy blue kind of a flared skirt, I guess? And I just think this is so cute. It was only $7. So really cheap. And then I had a coupon on top of that. You know, it's nice that it's navy blue, so it's different from your typical black. Yeah, it's just really cute. I'll be able to wear this with tights and boots, or I'll be able to wear it in the spring and summer with like some Oxfords or something. And yeah, I'm just I'm really excited to have gotten that, especially on sale. The next thing I got is this striped knit sweater type thing. I don't like calling it a sweater because it is really lightweight. Like it's it's sheer. <laughs> I'll have to wear a tank top underneath this. But I, I like those kind of materials because I'm sweaty and so this will allow me and my pits to breathe. And then it's got this really cute pleather quilted, not padding, but I mean, you know what I mean, little a little detail on the shoulders so I think this will look really cute on just like casual days when I've got my hair up in a ponytail or a bun and then just add some interest to the shoulders there. This was $29.95 but like I said I had a coupon and everything so I don't know how much it came out to but <laughs> I also had a gift card so basically it came out to nothing for me. <laughs> I picked up this really nice super duper sheer but like that's okay white tank top button up shirt you know, collared and everything. And this was only $12.95. These are just so nice. I probably will never wear it just on its own, but it's really long and flowy at the bottom and a little bit longer in the back than the front. And these are just so great for pairing underneath sweaters. I love the look of collars underneath sweaters, but I hate it when they're on really bulky shirts because I hate the feeling of a bulky like denim shirt underneath a sweater. It's just like the worst thing ever. And then it just makes me look like a tank. Next up, I got this really, really pretty like emerald green blouse. There's really not much to it, but I kind of like that about it. I like having plain pieces as well as patterned pieces like this bunny sweater. This was only $19.95 and I just think it's really cute. It's got this like stupid nothing little detail at the chest, but like I like it. I don't know. <laughs> you can kind of jazz it up or jazz it down. And like I said, the color is just absolutely gorgeous. The light is probably washing it out a little bit, but it really is just rich and elegant looking. Excited to have this in my repertoire. All right, next up, I don't have the tag on this one still because I actually already wore this. I think it was like $20, 25 20 something like that. But basically it's just kind of this like, taupey. It's pretty much straight up taupe brown gray and it's just this really nice thin knit and it's a little bit see-through and it's just an open cardigan and it's really nice and lazy and pretty and it's just I like it. So uh, I got it. I don't have any cardigans this color so it was really nice to pick up and yeah, like I said, I've already worn it and I love it. The last thing from H&M is another thing that I've already worn so I really, I can't tell you how much they were. I think they were like $10. Pajama pants? Yeah? Yeah? With bunnies all over them? Come on now, come on. Look at the bunnies! <laughs> They're so cute. They're kind of a lower ride in pajama pants, which I actually like. I hate it when they make pajama pants really high-waisted. They're just not as comfy to me. So these are perfect. I think they're so cute. I mean, I obviously like a nice bunny print. I really like them and I would highly recommend going and getting yourself a pair if you are also a lover of the bunny print. So that was it from H&M. Next up, I am going to go on to a pair of shoes that I picked up from Lord & Taylor. Don't get excited. I did not spend a million dollars on these shoes. They were in the sale rack and then they were also an extra 50% off of the sale price. So I got these for 30 four dollars I believe. I am so in love with these you guys don't even know. Well maybe you will know once you see them. They are just these plain black loafers with the little tassel on them and they're from BCBG and they're just perfect. They're so perfect in every way shape and form. Looks like they're the Leona 
in case anyone wants to go and see if they can find themselves a pair of these. They're so comfortable. The heel is like super thick rubber here and it just feels like you're walking on air and I just love loafers so much. If you watch any of my outfit of the week videos, you know how much I love loafers and I absolutely wear them to death. I couldn't be happier. I really love these. Most of you are probably like, Cassie, they're just black loafers. What's so exciting about that? Everything. Everything is exciting about this. These are perfection in shoe form and I am so excited to go show them off in the world. But not today because it's raining and they'll get ruined. But soon enough, my sweets, soon enough, we will go public. We'll go places together. Because that wasn't creepy, right? <laughs> So last up, like I said, I got some stuff from Forever 21, and I got a lot of stuff, but uh, I got most of it on sale, so that's excellent. First things first, I got a nail polish, because uh, you know me, I love me some nail polish. Forever 21, as far as I'm concerned, has been killing it with their nail polishes lately. I had such a hard time picking out just one polish. I limited myself to just one. I had about five in my basket, and I was like, no, Cassie. No, <laughs> you don't need five more nail polishes. So I just got the one and I'm so happy with the one that I picked. I feel like online they had called this cotton candy, but on the bottle it just says baby blue slash multi. I don't know. I just got this package the other day and I already painted my nails with it and I just think it is adorable. I love creamy glitters like this. And this one was an awesome formula, really. Depending on how opaque you want the look to be, you could get away with one coat easily. It's slightly streaky, but not really. I mean, just with me, if you're like watching TV and you're like, stroke, stroke, oh my gosh, what's happening? No, John, don't do it! And then, you know, that's kind of dried and then you go on to do another streak, then it, you know, layering on top, it looks a little streaky. But I mean, if you do your nails correctly, it's not gonna be streaky on you. I don't know, I just think it's a really cute color combination. It's like this really great periwinkle blue base, and then it's got purple and dark blue and light blue and magenta glitter in it, and then also little tiny dark blue specks, and it's just really cute. Up next, this was just a stupid thing that I wouldn't have purchased on my own probably, but since I had a gift card, you know, I was feeling generous to myself. And uh, it is this little set of makeup brushes. I mostly just got it for the three eye brushes because I kind of figured the blush brush is gonna be worthless. But what I really got them for is the kitty pattern that is all over them. It's so cute! I mean, this blush brush, I might be able... I don't know. I really don't think I'll be able to get any use out of this, to be honest. And the eyebrow groomy thing... I mean, I've never really understood these. Or is it for mascara? Part mascara, part brow, I don't know. It's got a nice little trio of eye brushes, a couple of flat shader type brushes for just all over washes of color, and then it's got an angled brush, you know, to smudge out eyeliner and whatnot. So I think just a really good collection of brushes to have. They're soft in that like fake soft kind of a way, and they're super freaking cute. So uh, I think these were like four or five dollars. Yeah, they're four eighty for the pack. Whatever, I don't mind. It was a gift card, and uh, I wanted to treat myself to some kitty brushes. So I did just that. Can we look at my cat? Yeah. My mom knit me this blanket. It is all sorts of gorgeous, and Galileo is making it his. But yeah, my mom did a really great job. Seriously, super talented. All right, next up, I just got this headband. I really love headbands, personally. Uh, this was only 380. It's got an elastic in the back and kind of a little tie knot in the front. It's just nice black and white. I mean, it'll be good to just throw on and, you know, whatever. Like, I'm a hippie. I'm cool. I go to art school. Deuces. Although I suppose that was thrices. It's just good on those days when like, you know, your hair is looking kind of scrubby and the ponytail didn't quite get back combed quite enough to cover up all the grease. Toss this on! People will pay a bit more attention to this than your nasty oily hair. And watch. Will it do it? 
I also love doing that, so uh, those are fun. <laughs> Another thing I picked up, I just got a pair of socks. These were $1.50. I had like $2, I think, that I could spend before my gift card had run out. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna let that go to waste. And I would have gotten a nail polish, but that was too much and I didn't want to have to pay any of my own money. So I just got a pair of socks. They're just lions and they say roar. So, uh, I don't know. They're socks. I like socks. And now I have more. Next up, I just got this cardigan and this was on sale. So it says it was $27.80, but I do believe it was $15 on sale. And it's just really nice. It's just a knit navy blue cardigan. Really thick, nice quality. It's got like this little maroon burgundy and then white stripe going down the fronts of it and on the ends of the sleeve. And I just think it's cute for layering, you know? I'm a huge sweater freak, so there's really nothing like special to this sweater, but it's it's special in its own right. It's better than something plain, and I just liked it, especially for the $15 on sale and the $0 that I paid with a gift card. This sweater I picked up was $27.80. I had a coupon. I think it was like 25% off any sweater, even sale sweaters. So that was really nice. I love looking up coupons online, so I'm glad I found that one. And this is a nice, relatively soft for a sweater, heavy knit, like this will keep you warm. And it's just black with white speckles. And what I liked about this is that, at least on the model online, and sometimes in real life, I guess, it kind of looked like stars or like a constellation type thing when you are far away from it. So I really liked that kind of a nod to my astrological interests. Like I said, it's really nice quality. I really think Forever 21 is stepping up their game. So yeah, their prices, like I said, this is $27.80, have been going up a bit, but I think the quality has also increased. So I don't mind that at all. Next sweater I got, I was so excited to get. It is so freaking cute. It's just this black cardigan and it's got these like fuzzy white stars all over it and I just think it's freaking adorable I mean come on this one was $29.80 so it was a little bit more expensive but like I said it's really nice quality really soft knit material the stars are really well sewn on so I don't have to worry about them falling off or anything and I just think this will be great for just lazy days and just to add a nice cute kind of quirk to your outfit. A little different from your typical black cardigan and like I said, I'm a big astrology type person so even fake stars like this one I'm just very innately attracted to. Next up I got a pair of leggings and I am so excited about these leggings. They were $17.80 but they are this really nice thick stretchy material. And then on the side, the reason why I got them, they've got like this nice like mesh, kind of a stripe down the side of them. So I just think these are really cute, different from your typical black legging. And like I said, a really substantial material. So I know these aren't just gonna disintegrate on me and they may actually make my booty look quite nice. And last but not least, I picked up this necklace and I just think it's pretty, like yeah, really fake, but like, Really pretty. <laughs> this was 1080, but you know, for a chunkier necklace from Forever 21, that's pretty nice, right? I just liked it. There was really no rhyme or reason other than that. So uh, I'm just gonna stick with that and be okay with it. Bling, bling. Okay, so my memory card ran out. Again, note to self. I need a bigger memory card. I'm gonna be late to work because that took way too long to get that footage into my computer. I hope you all enjoyed the haul. I hope you had fun with Galileo and I. Yeah, and I guess just until next time, just stay well until then. Bye, you guys.